brothers ask me, how should we educate the youth? How can we reach out to the youth? Um, in my opinion, I think that, like with everything, nurture it and love it. And our youth, a lot of times, ain't the easiest to deal with. You know, in fact, personally, sometimes I see the youth and sometimes the lanes that they be in, which might derive from a street or a gang perspective, I mean, personally, you know, uh, shit, I'd be a little afraid. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you. I, I don't know what, got a little pistol or, you know? Um, I was at the park the other day, seen some little dudes, they were shooting basketball, reminding me of myself. They was playing and they had this one cocky little brother. He just was as sure of his game. And uh, I was on the side making little comments, just kind of, just trying to like, you know, and uh, the little dude, he didn't necessarily get physically aggressive, but when I was saying some things, it got to his head and it became a, a ego thing between us. And, and, I, and I understand where he's coming from, because I, I, I was that. But at the same time though, um, when I was walking and I was thinking about these kids, I thought to myself, being the age range that I am, I said, man, I said, I got experience in doing the wrong thing as a youth, particularly that type of youth. I got experience with pride and lack of self-love and things like that. So uh, not today, but I'll be going back up there. I want to pull some of them guys to the side and get to know them guys. And I think that what can help the youth is is just uh, just loving them, man, and um, showing them uh, and, and, and with patience and long suffering the greatness. And it's not the easiest, because again, these little dudes got a lot of energy, and some of the stuff they do, do call for, okay, you're not ready right now, and then let's come back, because sometimes we gotta be taught by life. Me personally, I had to be taught by life. And the older folks that did teach me were from the street life. And so they gave me that education, which eventually landed me up in jails and stuff like that. So I think that the first thing is, man, is just loving them and reflecting to them their greatness and supporting them unconditionally, man, unconditionally. I think with that type of start, because, you know, I could come in telling them like, man, I got the answers. I've been through that. Oh man, you just, you, you little young bucks, so you need to listen. I can come with that, but these little dudes is gonna be like, especially if they ain't had a daddy, nigga. You can't tell me shit, you know, and I and I feel that because I have not even built a rapport. I have not um, got to know who he is. I haven't created that environment to where you, he can be comfortable and be fully, uh, you know. A few examples is, you know, when Jordan came out, he was a great player, killer, but there was a whole team that he had to play with. And so it took a head coach to bring out more of his greatness and share with him the significance of unity and interaction and things like that. And so, um, you know, again, um, just meeting them where they're at, um, seeing what their wants are, not what I think they should want, but what are their wants and being there specifically for that purpose of supporting them and, and helping them cultivating that. And then rather than telling them how to be good, model in my own life of what that looks like. Let that be my sermon. Let that be my message. That, you know? And so as far as like with my experience, that's what I would say when it comes to dealing with the youth. I would, you know, I would just say, just meet them where they at. Cause we know that they got problems. We know that they thugging. We know that they going in, we know that they have popped some, we know that, you know, nevertheless, that's still our youth. So, you know, every other race, they come in accordance and in one harmony to deal with their people accordingly. So it's on us to, you know, have some more uh, people from African descent, therapists, peer support mentors, counselors, and all these things that can understand they struggle with discrimination, understand their, you know, their uh, position in life. Um, Dr. Joy wrote a book too about how kids, a lot of times for us, we go into school and because they don't, Caucasian people don't know how to deal with us, they automatically say, he's unteachable. We can't get through to him. So then they say, 
special ed. Now I'm in special ed. Now I'm not caught up with the people who's receiving the information needed to be successful. But it has nothing to do with me really being special ed as much as I need a good teacher. I need somebody to model, or, you know, Caucasian man, Caucasian lady. Do you know about my struggles? Have you sat down with me? Have you did some research about discrimination and all these things and what it takes to probably deal with my mental? Most likely not, because you're probably a part of the conscious and unconscious white supremacy. Thank you.